One of the most iconic elements of an astronaut's identity is the spacesuit. It is the final line of defense that protects them from the harsh and unforgiving environment of space. So, when SpaceX unveiled its own spacesuit design, it instantly grabbed the world's attention. Sleek, form-fitting, and futuristic, it looked nothing like the bulky suits traditionally worn by NASA astronauts. But how did SpaceX manage to make their suit look that good? And more importantly, does it perform as well or even better than NASA's? Spacesuits are basically high-tech, human-shaped spacecraft made just for each astronaut. They need to be comfortable enough to wear for long periods inside cramped spacecraft, while also protecting astronauts from things like changing oxygen levels and extreme environments. At altitudes above about 19,000 meters, which is known as the Armstrong limit, the air pressure is so low that a regular suit won't cut it. That's where pressure suits come in, keeping the body safe in those thin air conditions. Spacesuits take it a step further by adding all kinds of gear to help astronauts stay comfortable and move more easily since pressurized suits naturally want to stiffen up in space. They also come with their own oxygen supply and built-in life support systems, so astronauts can move around freely outside the spacecraft during spacewalks without needing to stay connected to anything. SpaceX is a privately owned company founded by Elon Musk, yet it managed to create a spacesuit design that looks even more futuristic than those developed by government agencies like NASA. The suit almost looks like it was made for a superhero, and in a way, it was. That's because SpaceX brought in Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, known for his work on superhero films such as The Amazing Spider-Man, Thor, and Batman v Superman, to help design it. SpaceX began developing its first spacesuit back in 2015. Musk didn't just want a functional suit, he wanted one that made astronauts look heroic. Fernandez recalled that Musk kept saying, anyone looks better in a tux, no matter what size or shape they are. Musk wanted the suit to evoke the same sleek elegance as a tuxedo. So the James Bond vibe, it's very much intentional. After several months of designing, the final suit featured darker panels down the sides to visually taper the torso, squared off shoulder lines, aerodynamic seams from collarbone to knee, and knee-high boots, straight out of a superhero movie. Unlike traditional spacesuits, it has no dangling hoses, knobs, or bulky wiring. Once the design phase was complete, SpaceX engineers took over to reverse engineer the suit, ensuring it wasn't just stylish, but also fully functional for space travel. To be clear, this isn't the type of suit astronauts wear for spacewalks. The SpaceX suit was originally designed as an IVA, intravehicular activity suit, meant to protect astronauts while they're inside the spacecraft. In the event of a fire, cabin depressurization, or other emergencies, the suit creates an airtight seal to keep the wearer alive until the spacecraft can safely return to Earth. However, SpaceX later developed its own EVA, extravehicular activity suit, which allows astronauts to go outside the spacecraft. What's especially impressive is that it still maintains the sleek, minimalist look of the original IVA suit, but with that streamlined appearance, does it offer the same level of protection as NASA's bulkier, battle-tested suits? NASA's EMU, Extravehicular Mobility Unit, has been the go-to spacesuit for astronauts on the International Space Station for years. It was specifically designed to handle the intense demands of spacewalks that can last eight hours or more. Despite its bulky appearance, the EMU provides enough freedom of movement for astronauts to work independently, tethered to the station only by a safety line. That bulk is necessary. Every part of the suit serves a critical function. The EMU's outermost layer is made from orthofabric, a composite material combining Kevlar, Nomex, and Gore-Tex. Each of these serves a specific purpose. Kevlar, the same material used in bulletproof vests, protects astronauts from micrometeoroids and space debris. Nomex is flame-resistant, an essential safeguard in case of electrical malfunctions or encounters with superheated surfaces. Gore-Tex allows the suit to breathe, letting moisture from the astronaut's body escape while preventing external liquids from getting in. In total, the EMU includes 14 layers of material, carefully engineered for durability, insulation, and protection. Underneath the EMU is another critical component, the Liquid Cooling and Ventilation Garment, LCVG. This form-fitting, full-body suit resembles white thermal underwear and is embedded with a network of tubes that circulate chilled water around the astronaut's body. It's a key defense against extreme temperatures, which can range from 250 degrees Fahrenheit in sunlight to minus 250 degrees in the shadows. 
The LC Venge has long been a cornerstone of NASA's approach to regulating body temperature during extravehicular activity. The EMU also includes a gold-coated visor that reflects the sun's powerful ultraviolet rays, offering critical radiation protection. However, as effective as the EMU is, it's also an older design, and some elements are less comfortable or user-friendly by modern standards. For example, astronauts must manually adjust their sunshades based on lighting conditions. To check any information about the suit, the astronaut has to look down at an alphanumeric display that is strategically placed on the suit, near the chest. According to NASA, an attachment equipped with flood lamps is placed above the visor so astronauts can see clearly in payload bays or whenever it's dark. Overall, the NASA suit works. Obviously, in space, safety is the priority, and every element of the EMU was engineered with long-term survival in mind under extreme conditions. Now let's get back to the SpaceX EVA suit. Of course, safety is still the number one standard, but as the heart of a 21st century suit, the SpaceX design also elevates the experience for the person wearing it. It's been described as like a suit of armor made of fabric. The suit stays soft while the astronaut is inside the pressurized environment of the Dragon capsule, but the material stiffens when the suit is pressurized for operations outside the spacecraft. It uses multiple layers of material borrowed from the Falcon rocket interstage and the Dragon spacecraft trunk, materials that have already been proven across many successful flights. The suit also includes a metallic Faraday layer to shield the astronaut from external electric fields. Unlike NASA's suit, the SpaceX EVA suit doesn't rely on a traditional heat exchange system. Instead, it uses phase change materials that absorb or release heat energy as they shift between solid and liquid states, helping to regulate temperature as the astronaut moves between sunlight and shadow. One of the biggest challenges in designing any spacesuit is mobility. When a suit is pressurized, it inflates like a balloon, becoming rigid and difficult to move in. When an astronaut tries to bend a joint, the suit's internal volume decreases. Since it is fully sealed, the air has nowhere to go, so bending compresses the air inside, creating resistance. This issue is even worse in older NASA suits, which are traditionally one size fits most because of how expensive they are to produce. On the ISS, the EVA suit is modular, meaning parts like arms and gloves can be swapped out for different sizes. But in general, nothing is truly made to fit, and astronauts often suffer bruises or injuries after a spacewalk. This is where SpaceX excelled. Each suit is completely custom-made to match the body of each crew member. That tight fit doesn't just look better, it performs better. For example, in smaller joints like the fingers, SpaceX places rubber pleats along the back of the glove, allowing it to bend in a natural arc. In generic suits, the joints in the suit often do not align with the wearer's own joints, reducing mobility and increasing effort. Since SpaceX suits are tailor-made, those joints can be perfectly aligned with each astronaut's actual anatomy. And that is not all. Every joint in the suit is reinforced with crisscross tensioners. These help astronauts bend joints inward while the suit's internal pressure naturally helps return the limb to its original position. As for the visors, the SpaceX suit is equipped with a 3D printed visor made of polycarbonate coated with indium, tin, oxide, and copper. This special coating helps block ultraviolet light and protects astronauts from infrared radiation. It is also a more affordable option than what NASA uses, making it well-suited for mass manufacturing in future versions, especially with Elon Musk's vision for bases on Mars and the Moon in mind. And more importantly, there are no more flood lamps. Instead, a heads-up display, or he HUD, is built directly into the visor. It provides real-time data such as oxygen levels, suit pressure, and battery life, all without requiring the astronaut to look down at any instrumentation. It's similar to the scene inside mm -hmm. Iron Man's helmet. On September 12, 2024, SpaceX made history with its Polaris Dawn mission by successfully completing the first-ever private spacewalk. This wasn't just a milestone for space tourism. It marked the first real-world test proving the reliability of the SpaceX EVA suit. To be honest, it's difficult to directly compare the SpaceX suit with NASA's EMU. The SpaceX suit is still in the early stages of development, while the EMU is the result of decades of experience, engineering, and mission-specific refinements. NASA's EMU is built for long-duration spacewalks, often involving demanding tasks and heavy-duty work. In contrast, the current SpaceX EVA suit is intended for shorter exposures to the vacuum of space. Its sleek and modern design is optimized for space tourism, focusing on comfort, mobility, and ease of use. It does not yet include all the complex systems found in the EMU. As we enter a new era of space exploration, SpaceX is expected to keep evolving its suit designs. The next versions won't be limited to the relatively safe environment of Resilience's tip hash. SpaceX envisions scalable suits that can be mass-produced for future missions to the Moon and Mars. 
This means the SpaceX EVA suit will likely change over time, improving in reliability and durability to eventually match or even exceed that of NASA's EMU. One major feature SpaceX will need to incorporate is a portable life support system, PLSS. This backpack-like system monitors the astronaut's vitals, supplies oxygen, removes carbon dioxide, regulates humidity, and maintains a stable temperature using radiators embedded in the suit's fabric. It is essentially a mini spaceship worn on the back, designed to support an astronaut for hours during a spacewalk. It includes multiple backup systems. If the main oxygen supply fails, a secondary one takes over. If temperature regulation breaks down, built-in redundancies ensure the astronaut astronaut stays alive. While the PLSS adds considerable weight and bulk, that's not a major issue in orbit or on the moon. For now, SpaceX's EVA suit uses a long tether to connect astronauts to the spacecraft. This tether supplies oxygen and power and removes carbon dioxide. It works well for early missions, but it's clear that future versions of the suit will need to be far more independent to support longer and more ambitious missions. Elon Musk also mentioned that the SpaceX spacesuit could eventually include a jetpack for astronauts to move around in space. It's unclear whether it would be similar to the jet gun NASA astronauts used back in the day, but it's definitely a cool idea to think about. So after hearing all of this, which spacesuit do you like more, NASA's iconic battle-tested EMU or SpaceX's sleek and futuristic suit? Let me know in the comments below.